Was well, that's what they're, 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 yeah, that's just fair. That because she wet her bed, that the mother or father got so angry that they they struck her and uh, and and told her, no, I, I don't buy it. Come on, you're going to bedwetting. You're going to whack your your. No, I don't. I don't believe that for one moment. My God, they're well, not savages. Uh, no. they are a decent, educated people. But I have re I have read I have read several accounts, and you know, being a parent of four girls. And I know how angry you can get. Obviously, I've never, ever, you know, ever hit, hit my child for, you know, doing things, you know, for no, bed wetting. Eight and a half inch fracture. But, a, yeah, but you're busting about their it. head open like that. Oh. But, but the thing is that um, I have read accounts that other, you know, par there have been cases where that is between the ages of, but it's usually between the ages of uh, two and, uh, and four years of age is when, there, when children are right. found to have been abused or um, placed in scalding hot water because of uh, uh, bedwetting um, incidents. So that well, we've all encountered that. Jeff, you and your police business and I in forensic pathology. In fact, I uh, am involved in a case uh, uh, quite recently. Somebody called me a question of whether a child was deliberately immersed in hot water uh, or whether it was a an accidental uh, 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 splattering of hot water. So yeah, we're, we're familiar. We're, we're we're both familiar with that. But and 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 we're also familiar with the psychological profile too of a child. Uh, uh, that may be abused in That's some way too. Correct. That continues to engage it, but I'm, I'm not going to engage because that that is um, not psychological nonsense, but the, but it is conjecture and 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 it is an individual nature. I'm I'm not going to speculate that because uh, that she had been abused and that's why she be, she she was a bedwetter. I I, I I'm not going to say that because I have no basis for that at all. I'm going to stick with the scientific facts and and I have laid them out. And I've, I've read to you, uh, I've told you what's in the autopsy report um, about the, the fracture, about the very uh, small amount of blood associated with that huge fracture. Talked about um, the particular findings in the genitalia area, which are clearly evidence of things that have happened before. These are things which are present in the autopsy report that have never, never been challenged by anybody. So then you and, and you they don't you know it's, uh, some things uh, don't require interpretation, uh, and to the extent that they need to be interpreted, do not lend themselves to differences of opinion. Right. Uh, you know, uh, we're down to probably less than ten minutes here, Doctor Weck. Uh, we're talking about mortal evidence, and of course, who killed John Benet Ramsey, written by Doctor Cyril Weck. Uh, I want to bring everybody up to speed. It's 2009. I did try to reach uh, Stanley Garrett, the new prosecuting attorney in Boulder, Colorado. Sarah, with what you're hearing or if you've heard anything at all, will this case proceed? Do you think we'll ever get any closure on that? And I want to talk about Mortal Evans because you mentioned Dr. Henley, uh, Henry Lee. He wrote your forward in this book. But talk about the reopening of this case. What do you think we'll find out and where we'll we get anywhere? Um, I, I, I regret to say, and I would love to be proven wrong, but I, I must uh, give you a, a realistic answer, and that is I do not think that anything is going to happen. Keep in mind, as you've pointed out, if some of your um, viewing, uh, listening audience uh, is not aware, Patsy Ramsey is dead. Yeah, she passed away. So now you have, now you have just John Ramsey. So now you don't have a situation in which, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll lean on A, you will we'll lean on B, or so on. So John Ramsey, this, all he has to do is stick with the story that he has told before. And right. that's it. Um, and the evidence is there, and they did not choose to run with it then or in subsequent years and so on. So uh, I doubt very much that anything is ever going to happen. I'll tell you this. They're never going to find any intruder because there was no intruder, okay? Right. And and I don't believe that anything is going to happen. It's like I, it's, this is not. I, I'm not. I'm not criticizing. In fact, I'm I'm I'm, I'm pleased uh, that they are looking into this and that they have established a, an ad hoc uh, review committee, so to speak. Uh, they they should be uh, uh, commended for doing that. But do I really believe that it is going to uh, lead to anything? No. I mean, the evidence is there. And if they did not act upon it then, why should we believe that they're going to act upon it now? And Dr. Henry Lee wrote your forward. 
They're... Uh, yeah, yeah, Henry and I are very good friends. Yeah. And so, and it, ask, you know, Henry will tell you about the, the DNA stuff. It's, it's sheer nonsense. It's absolute so, nonsense. You're absolutely just, right, Dr. There have, been, how, there have been several, I mean, how many books have been written about this case now? Um, at least, you know, I can think of I, I, I don't know. I, I have no way of... It's, it's got to be hundreds. Many, There's several yeah. different accounts. Many, uh, officers yeah. were writing books about what, yeah. and then you had the prosecutor, yeah. and then you had several different people coming out with their versions of everything so that when I bring up uh, different facts about or different things that I've read that's what I was talking about earlier um, several you know one had you know the father did it because of this one one version had the mother doing it because of this then yeah, they brought yeah. the brother into it. They brought all these different people into it. The, the Santa Claus guy. They brought that. Now that you get the guy from. Oh, they, they, they. As we've said before, um, uh, Jeff uh, and Joe, uh, they, they were not the least bit hesitant about uh, trying to dump on on people. It really was disgraceful. Just absolutely disgraceful. I'm surprised they haven't uh, thrown you under the bus yet, Doctor Weck. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't there. But <laughs> uh, they, they ran out of there. Neither they, was John Mark Carr. <laughs> Uh, they ran out of they ran out of their John Mark cars. They ran out of their uh, their disgruntled employees at the at the company that John Ramsey owned, and so on. So I guess they have no more people uh, to point the finger at, uh, and they'll continue to say they're looking for the intruder, right? Uh. Um, we talked about Steve Thomas, who wrote a book on this. A, I talked to police officers who worked with him, uh, former bosses of his. They give him an A plus as a police officer. Fabulous detective. And he was really drugged through the mud. Oh, they, 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 I, you know, I, I was on a program with Steve Thomas um, at, uh, I think it was um, uh, Aspen, a, a summer program uh, uh, for homicide detectives from Colorado and, and elsewhere. And we had a chance to talk and we uh, called and, and corresponded with each other for a while, too. It's been a while since I've spoken with him, but it is just a disgrace what they, what they did to him. They tried to destroy him. They again, here's Lynn Wood come into the picture and threatening him and so on. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I do not know where he is, um, uh, what he's doing, and and so on. I, I hope you'll, you might be successful in, in locating him. Well, we know he's a, he was a successful police officer, and he'll land on his feet. That's for sure. Uh, so it looks like we'll probably get no closure on us, at least in the near future, Doctor Weck. I, I, do, I do not believe so. And of course, when you say the near future. And remember, uh, uh, you know, there, who else uh, you know you have out there. So uh, if if you're, uh, you know, if, if if they don't make a move here, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, you've got John Ramsey. Uh, so you know, against whom will a move be made? And with Patsy out of the picture, and John Ramsey not having to be the least bit concerned, uh, therefore, about what she's going to say, and uh, the prosecution. Uh, even if they are very, very sincere and, since, and, and genuinely interested in doing something, they've got to live with uh, Patsy Ramsey's uh, statements from before. And all of that, which went unchallenged, you know, what are they going to do? Now posthumously challenge it and dig her up from the grave and, and accuse her of lying? You see what I mean? So it's, 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 it's over and done with. And most most homicides are solved within the first 48 hours, yeah. just like the TV yeah. show. Yeah, exactly. And they all look at it, you say, wow, you have these people here, you know we did, this is what it all points to, the forensic uh, science shows. And, oh, Eric, I want to repeat this, this is important, Jeff, apropos of what you were just saying right now, for anybody that may have tuned in late, and it bears repeating, that the Ramseys were never individually Interviewed. Right. As, in, as, 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 as people who are, you know, let us say, you know, certainly there's a cloud of suspicion uh, that can be reasonably stated when you have adults in a home with no evidence of anybody else being there. I mean, my God. And Thank you, Dr. Wagner. What, what yeah. We're out Absolute, of time. Absolutely. You can reach us at right from the author at yahoo.com or 586-258-2000. If you have a question for Dr. Weck, I'll certainly send it on to him. Dr. Weck, thank you. We will talk to you during the coming week. We're working on a great show, Fatal Vision. Thank you so much, Dr. Weck. Okay. Have a great Good night. night. Good night. That'll do it for Right from the Author. For Jeff Hansen, I'm Joe Cochran. Please join us next time. We hope to have Fatal Vision, Jeffrey McDonald case. We'll see you next time.